question today is, Harley, can you please talk about the tantric sex god advertisement that Peter put up? The tantric sex god advertisement that Peter.org just put up. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out this clip. This is Jessica. She suffers from BWV AKT boom. Boyfriend went vegan and knocked the bottom out of me. A painful condition that occurs when boyfriends go vegan and can suddenly bring it like a tantric porn star. For Jessica, it's too late. Oh, well, you're back. You, you feeling better? Please go to bwvaktboom.com and learn to go vegan safely. That's it. <laughs> That's a pretty that's a pretty creative little clip there, and it's very accurate, it's very true. Why do a lot of the tantric leaders on the planet, the tantric gods, go vegan? It's you know, that's what's taught in those circles. There's definitely some validity in there. And recently, uh, actually not recently, a few years ago now, I, I did a bit of a tantric course in uh, Koh Phangan Island in Thailand, and I definitely can say I recommend it. It's about doing what you're comfortable with doing, and Eating a diet that supports that and living a lifestyle that supports that sort of sexual performance, it, it was pretty eye-opening for me and uh, freely. What do, you, what do you think? My pelvis is a bit sore, maybe later. You know, that sort of thing. I definitely recommend the old tantric style, but you got to eat in a way where you got the, the hammer or the energy to be the good lover. You don't want to be some tired, flaky, undercarb, dehydrated, fatted out thing. You want to be like carbed up, virile, energetic, high blood flow, if you know what I mean. You know, all these people taking Viagra and, and stimulants is because their diet's so fatty and greasy and their carbohydrate, glucose exhausted, then the tantric gods aren't really going to uh, give you what you need to do. So why do the tantric gods promote all this high carb vegan fruit thing? Well, it's just how it is, man. It's just how it is. You smell better if you eat vegan. You don't have all those sulfuric acids from the, the methionine proteins in the animal flesh that create a lot of acidity in the body and foul smelling. And you've got things like putrescine, which we have in the fish and the eggs, etc. And we have it in very large amounts. So you, you start to stink a lot more if you're eating the animal products. I mean, if you ever share the toilet with someone who's eating animal products, you know, it's... <laughs> So it smells like dead animals, you know, literally. So smelling like roadkill is a bit of a turn off for sex, in my opinion. I mean, some people might dig it. Some people got like fetishes and shit like that. They like smelling like roadkill, death breath, whatever. That, that's fine, you know. No judgment on that. But like my friend says, it's hard to attract a fairy when you're dining on roadkill. It's hard to attract a fairy when you're dining on roadkill. I thought that's a very valid saying. So basically, high carb, low fat, vegan lifestyle, heavy on the fruit. I mean, the banana is the most phallic symbol used on the planet. The banana is the most phallic symbol used on the planet. And in India, in the Tantra world, they have the, the mangoes, the revered fruit, and they have the, the method called sucking the mango. I won't go into specifics on that one. Don't ask me for a personal demo. And you have the banana here. This is the Thai Gui Hon banana, a very phallic looking Fruit, and if you subscribe to the doctrine of uh, signatures, you know, the plant of banana speaks for itself. Ouch. So having enough simple sugars is really important for sex stamina. I mean, I run marathons and I think the fitter you are, the better lover you can be. If you're out of shape, you know, you might have the attitude and stuff like that, but you won't have the stamina to really, you know, bring it home, if you know what I mean. So I definitely recommend increasing your fitness, learning the tantric laws, and eating a high-carb, low-fat, vegan lifestyle, heavy on the fruits. But always get enough carbohydrates in. But if you under-eat, your sex drive is going to really fuck up. Eat enough calories. When your carbs are strong, so is your dong. So if you're flaccid, get more carbohydrates in, get more water, get more sleep, get more passion in your life. And I found since having a vasectomy, my urges are always contained within my body and uh, a lot of tantric people, they, they rate the vasectomy. So I, I definitely rate it personally. I rate the vasectomy. Do your own homework on it. Don't just jump into it, but do your own homework on it. Again, educate yourself, inform yourselves. 
and make your own beliefs based on your own conclusions. Take advice and be getting results you desire, and I'll see you on the other side of the banana. Thanks for watching.